The Arise system at its core is a series of accessible practical teaching strategies. Each strategy is presented on a single card or page. Each strategy card provides teachers an illustration along with content for explanation. Each card provides step-by-step -step directions or procedures on how to use the strategy in the classroom. And finally, each card contains an FAQ section containing additional ideas and answers about students' content knowledge and language levels. The cards are color-coded into seven different components, language and content, assessment, phonemic and phonetic awareness, vocabulary, fluency, comprehension, and writing. In all, there are over 70 proven practical strategies for the classroom in the ARISE database. The ARISE Standards to Strategy application indexes the ARISE strategy cards and associates them to your state and district standards. Let's take a look. Here, we're looking at the Florida State System, that is, the version of the application that is associated with Florida's state standards. As a teacher, I have a couple of choices for browsing strategies. I can choose to browse strategies by grade level and category, or I can choose to navigate by Florida Sunshine Standards. Let's choose to view the strategies independent of the standards. Here I have a listing of all strategies organized by grade level, category, and title. Each of the columns in this view can be sorted. So let's say I'm looking for new strategies for writing and I teach 8th grade. I can quickly filter on the category column and see that there are several strategies for grades 6 through 12. From here, I can click on any of these strategies to view them in full. Once I've found a strategy that I'd like to use, I can choose to print it directly from the strategy card. Now let's say I'm a teacher in Florida looking for a strategy related to specific state standards. Here you see that the application provides several layers of filtering by standard. At the highest level is the grade level. I teach 8th grade in this scenario, so I'll choose 8. As I choose that grade, the standards below are automatically filtered to show only those standards related to the 8th grade. Note that to the right of these standards is a list of resources, strategy cards, that relate to each standard. I can now filter further by strand. I'm looking for something related to the writing process. Note that the standards once again auto-filtered to show only those standards and resources related to the 8th grade writing process. At any point, I can choose to view the related strategies by clicking the View Resources list. The View Aligned Resources area populates with each of the related strategies. Just as before, each of the columns in this list can be clicked on to sort the list by that column. And I can click the Open Resource Viewer to view any of the strategies. Let's go back to sorting criteria and select a specific standard from the Florida Sunshine Standards. Note that the standard categories are pre-filtered based on the strand I've chosen. I'm going to select Publishing. Note that the standards below are again filtered based on my choices. Finally, I can filter by proficiency, beginning, intermediate, or advanced. I'm looking for something for someone very new to English, so I'll choose beginning. Note that there is only one standard related to 8th grade, writing process, publishing, and geared toward beginners. Within that standard, there are two suggested strategies. So Arise Standards to Strategy allows teachers to find a multitude of practical strategies or to filter that database of strategies based on very specific state standard contexts. The combination of research-driven practical strategies and standards-based browsing in Arise provides your teachers with just-in-time techniques that align with your state or district's teaching goals. If you'd like to gain a trial demo of the application or learn more about adopting Arise Standards to Strategy for your Hi, welcome to this segment of Digital Discoveries. I'm Tim Holt. And if you hadn't figured out by watching that little introduction there, we're talking about something called Arise, which allows teachers in our school districts in Texas, not only in EPISD, but all over Texas, to access some really interesting uh, ELPS standards and uh, strategies. And so I'm going to show you in this segment how to access it. That little video showed you how to get there and what, once you get there, what it's all about. This part is we're going to show you how to get in there for Texas teachers. So 
Um, I'm going to get out of there. And so every time uh, we do one of these segments that has to do with Project Share, we're going to assume that by now you've actually logged into Project Share and that you know how to get in. And so this portion, these Arise uh, uh, resources are available for our our 9 through 12 teachers, so all of our high school teachers. That's what the state of Texas bought these ARISE standards for. So um, let's go to our computer here, and we'll show you how to get in. We were make, Again, we're going to assume that you are into your portal on uh, Project Share. Somewhere on your portal, once you log in, you're going to see uh, ARISE. And uh, in, in my case, it's on the right-hand side of the screen, and you can see it right there. It's pretty obvious. It says ARISE. Now, it's not actually embedded into Project Share. Once you, once you log into Project Share, what's going to happen is that the Arise, once you click on it, it's going to open up another window and go to another place. And so we're going to just click right there where it says Open Arise. And once you open Arise, it'll get you right there. Now, the video that we just saw talked about the Florida standards. Now, you can tell that we're in the Texas standards here because we've got the state of Texas going right there. So you know that these are uh, assigned to our, <laughs> we, these are assigned to our, uh, our, our Texas uh, TEKS and our Texas ELP standards. So let's, uh, let's kind of look here and uh, do exactly what they just did. Um, once you log into the A plus RISE, you're going to get some uh, instructions on the right hand side. There's some training videos. Training videos are very interesting because they are based on uh, what uh, course you actually are teaching. So history, math, science, or English. Again, the ELPS uh, here for the A plus RISE are, are uh, for, our, um, for our core curricular areas. They're not for all the areas. They're just for our core curricular areas. But if you're doing writing in PE and you're doing, uh, you're doing some um, math in, in your course that's not necessarily a math course, you can certainly use these uh, standards, uh, these ELP standards and, and strategies. So each one of these has a training video. It's the same lady that pops up and does the same training every single time. And so you got to make sure that you click the right one, uh, especially if you're used to looking at these. Uh, um, if you go through all of them, it's the same lady pops up, and so you're like, oh, I, I, I must have clicked the wrong one. But actually, um, it's the same lady doing the science, the math, the history, and the English video. So let's, uh, real quick, let's see how to do this. Uh, we're going to, we're going to um, go down to the lower right-hand corner here and say, search the Texas ELP standards. And so that's, how, that's a good place to get started. The other way to get started is just to search all the different cards that are available. Remember that the cards are broken down into uh, color coding based on what you want to do with them. And so if we just click search the standards. So let's do English language proficiency standards. It's going to ask uh, what strand we want to look at. Now this should look very familiar because it's exactly what we just saw on the video. So let's say, for instance, uh, we're going to go back and say speaking. So here's uh, speaking standards. Uh, view the standards for what uh, course that we're looking at. Um, here, uh, for instance, here's a view standard uh, C3A, practice producing sounds of newly acquired vocabulary, such as long and short vowels, silent letters, and consonant clusters. And so that's what I wanted my student to do. That's what I'm kind of interested in. So I click the resource list. I click, here's my resource list. And then another, uh, another screen will pop up underneath there. And so it's, a, it's actually, if you look at it, it's a one, two, three step. One, you, you find the standard that you're looking for. Two, you look at the standard itself. And three, it comes up with a resource list. So you say, OK, I'm interested in puzzle cards. Uh, puzzle cards might be something that my new to English learners might be interested in doing. So I click that up. And here comes uh, that particular card. Um, now, what's really neat is that it's got them broken down by science, math, social studies, and how to do them for each and every single one of those. And you can actually print those out. You can print it out and uh, use it. Uh, you can also embed these into your lesson plans. And so there's lots of different ways to use these A plus RISE standards. So let's, uh, let's go back here. I'm going to close that out. And we're going to go back to the home page again. Now let's look at the, how to do it, a search using the strategy cards. And so the strategy cards are down there on the right-hand side of the screen. And so you just click Search the Cards. And there's just tons and tons of these. 
that show up. If you look, uh, there's just uh, lots and lots of different ways. So if your administrator is asking you to come up with some ELP strategies for your, uh, for your students and you don't know where to go, this is the place to go. So say, for instance, I'm looking for some ELP strategies um, for newcomers. I'm looking at this one, MySpace. I click it. I pop open the resource list. There it is. It tells me exactly how to use this with my students. There's the, in, in this particular one, we're using the WH sound, who sound, who, what, where, when, why, how. And uh, it, it shows them how to, how to do that. And then uh, you can actually even uh, uh, search your ELP standards from within that card. So how do you get to this? Uh, you, have to have, uh, you have to have Flash embedded on your computer. I think all of our teacher laptops actually do have Flash embedded on them. So that's a good thing. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, you get to it going through Project Share. So let's go back again really quick how to get through there. Once you log into Project Share, you have to go to your A plus Rise button. That's on your portal. Once you click on that, you get to your Project uh, the A Rise. Uh, a lot of people call it A plus Rise, but in the video they were calling it a Rise. So uh, I think people call it A plus Rise because it's got a big plus right there. So anyway, that's how you get to these ELP standards. This is a very powerful tool. It's free for all of our teachers in the state of Texas. Everyone can access this. Uh, it's designed for our 912 students and uh, 912 uh, students and teachers. So if you're having problems getting onto it, contact your, uh, your local instructional technology department. They'll show you how to get into it. If you're having problems getting onto Project Share, let us know. We'll, we'll help you out. Um, again, A plus Rise, very, very powerful. So I want to leave you with this. How can you use the A plus Rise strategies that you find on Project Share for your students? And are these different than what you've been given in other, uh, other trainings? So uh, I challenge you to go through the A plus Rise, look through it, and um, explore it. And there's, there's some things in there that you'll probably see that uh, haven't occurred to you on how to, these strategies for using with our English language learners. And uh, I think you'll be surprised on the power of A plus Rise or Arise. Thank you for joining me this time. We'll see you next time on Digital Discoveries.